Randy Savage 50 here, back with another video. As you see my rifles here, and you see my title, my go-to rifle slash battle rifle, and the setup, and why I like it that way. So I have it here with the uh, little 65 round drum, just for kind of theatrical purposes, so to make it look cooler. Now that's not really how I carry it around though. I know I'm looking really snazzy today. I'm about to take my wife on a lunch date after this video. So, you know, I had to do it pretty good, you know what I'm saying? But back to the video. This is my uh, go-to rifle, uh, i.e. battle rifle or see his fan rifle, whatever you want to call it. It's my Colt LE 6920. And um, I have it set up a certain way. And I'll let you all know why I have it set up this way and why I like it this way. So my go-to rifle is set up it's basic you know the old kiss method keep it simple stupid have it like that so the main point is an optic or um, red dye anything like that up here as well as a sling vertical grip flashlight basic right and any kind of backup sights you know front fix sights whatever basic that's all we need to get the job done so you can glance around the rifle again. You've seen it in many videos. Here she is. Why do I have these specific items on here? So the sling, we all have it, have it attached, random rubber type of band, not a rubber band, but a band to keep it out of the way if I don't want to use it. But why do you have a sling? I would have a sling to keep the weapon on my person. You know, I don't always have the, wi the, the rifle in the hand, right? You may have it dangling, you may want to use your, your handgun, you may be climbing, fighting, uh, fixing things, whatever. You know, this can be used for home defense, uh, vehicular defense, she hits the fan, all those moments. So you may not be walking down your hallway with your wife, your ref, your weapon, you know, put up like this, right? So you may want to dangle, you know, have a flashlight in your hand, your handgun, whatever. So you want that option to have that weapon attached to your body, but not always in your hand like this right and also it'll help prevent people from taking it from you right some say that's a blessing and a curse but that's why these come in handy as well side arm knife things of that nature in terms of keeping a weapon on your person this uh, vertical grip here you got a point of contact with your hand your strong hand as well as your weak hand so you can keep this thing strong on your person as well as if you're going through a doorway and somebody tries to grab it you have this hand that's helping you pull it, you know, pull it back, help you keep it on yourself. If you were not to use your sling or if you are using your sling, it's another way to help you keep your weapon. Right. So that's why I have a front um, a, um, a vertical grip as well as if I'm trying to like mount it, you know, trying to get a, a far shot. At least this can help me with my um, stability. That's why I keep that front grip um, vertical grip on there as well. Flashlight obviously there may be some low light shooting or some shooting in the dark or some kind of situation where you need to use your flashlight and that's that's like a no-brainer you're going to want a flashlight on your rifle i know my last weapon uh last video was talking about weapon mounted lights and how they may not be necessary but i gave the examples of when you're using your rifle if something's coming down and you need your rifle a flashlight is 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 needed you're going to want your flashlight on there so Next up is the optic red dot, whatever it is. I have this um, LPVO, this Firefield, uh, 126 by 24 it is. That's why I had a look at it. I haven't touched this one. Um, this is for me to, my, mind you, this is my all around, all around rifle. And um, I'm gonna wanna look at it normally, just like I'm looking to a red dot. Or I want to put that zoom up a bit and get a little bit further out if I need to do that type of thing. So I know some people for their battle rifle or go-to rifle, they just have a little red dot or just iron sights. But to me, I want to have something extra just in case I want some kind of longer range. Or if I see a threat and I want to look at it a little bit closer where I can have a better uh, field of view by looking at it closer opposed to so far away, right? So that's why I have the LPV on, LT, LPVO on there. I'm sorry. I'm so ready for my date. But um, yeah, so here's my go-to rifle and what I have on it and the reasons I have it on there. Have I had one with just the fixed sights on there? Yes. Uh, have I had one with just red that's on there? Yes. 
what would I go for? Fix sites or red dot or optic? I'll go for a red dot or an optic because the red dot is a lot easier just to get up on there and see the target. Is the fixed sight good? Yes, but why not enhance that perhaps with red dots to get better at red dots or LPVO? Um, I've learned that it's a lot easier for target acquisition for the red dot or one of these LPVOs. Um, but a lot of training can, you know, obviously make you good with fixed sights or just iron sights. But um, yeah, this is my choice for a battle or go to rifle. And to keep it basic. You don't need all the extra stuff. I mean, I know I have some extra stuff. I have this bad lever here. To do that you know things like that but the basics are all you need i posted this somewhere on on facebook somebody said oh yeah like a basic rifle to me it has blah 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 i'm like exactly because that's all i want and that's all i need and um it'll work it's going to get the job done i'm gonna show you all again so if you're all thinking of a, a a setup for certain scenarios it's a normal length rifle 16 inch barrel um it, it'll get the job done okay so Velocity wise or ballistic wise, the 16 inch barrel, that's the basic length of a, an AR-15 is perfect enough to have enough speed and power to do what you need to do. Uh, there's no concern of, oh, the barrel's too short or too long. You're, you'll be good for different means um, for survival. What do I keep in my magazine that I keep it in, keep in the weapon? Uh, I'll put it in here. We're not going to obviously, we're not going to charge it obviously, but that's how, it, that's how it looks. It has a little rest part. So if I'm trying to put it down on a on a surface it can help with the stability uh i keep hollow point rounds on it or in it i believe it's 55 grain so it could be 62 grain something a little bit higher but i just keep i think 55 grain um federal i think it is here they are these are my go-to rounds for this weapon uh, I also have magazines full of the normal ball ammo, 52 grain ball ammo, um, or they don't have the green tips in there. I have magazines with the green tips in it. Some people say they're worthless. You shouldn't get them. They'll just go straight through the target. I'm sure. But uh, the main point of any kind of encounter is to stop that threat. Correct. So these rounds will work. They have their place for different things. I, I think some should say or some would say green tips may be better with going through doors going through certain you know structures who knows so it's up to you but this is what i do to my go-to rifle hollow points in the main uh magazine if you look at the drum i have normal ball ammo in this one um but these are all different options many people go with hollow tips or uh soft point ammo i have some of that as well but i just i'm going with the the hollow points in this one uh you know when a hollow point round hits a a target it's gonna like mushroom itself and try to help cause as much damage or, or stop or stop and do the best as it can to uh, stop that threat or stop whatever um, you're shooting and pose to going through it. Like you'll see with the the green tip or even a ball ammo round may go straight through, but it may stop and do whatever or what they say. What's it? Um, spin around or what's it um, the words not coming not fragment but um, it'll come to me but I've chosen the hollow point round for my go to round for my um, main rifle you can choose your own but this is what I choose I think it's good I think it works uh, you can ask put in comments your reasoning be between those three different type of rounds or four different type of rounds and why you choose and why not maybe help me in the future of changing up my load between normal ball hollow point green tip or like soft point um yeah so this is what i do this is my rifle and the reason of why i choose it is it looks so badass to me right it looks it looks pretty good so hope you enjoy i know it's a really quick one but uh at least want to show y'all my go-to rifle and the attachments and why i choose to have them on my go-to rifle so randy satisfies zero checking out see you next time